Shut up and sit down. is made of one million of these. Duck the uncle the pink lady with pink hair is gonna see you. Go on, run and make her run. It's really funny when she runs. Oh, oh that was close. Why do you do that every time? Yeah. <laughs> Did he get away? He's gone. Is gonna lose him? They usually get to it. Oh, see, you see what it's doing? They just flop and go flat. <laughs> Running rings around it. That's classic. Shut up and sit down. Well, here we are, coming back towards. Gold Coast, I suppose, coming back east, and um, rather than hang here in Windora for two days, because it came over sheer weather, we pumped to get here at a certain time so we can get sunset photos and sunrise photos. Both of them are obsolete. We've got till Friday to get to Emerald, and we have decided we're just going to slowly work our way back towards Emerald now. And anything we see that um, looks interesting, we'll stop, take photos, and anything that looks like there might be animals, we'll get out and have a look. So we're not, we're not under any itinerary now, we're just winging it. We're gonna slowly head towards Emerald. See what happens from here. All we did get to see, as far as animals are concerned here in Windora, is one dead Wyoming and one dead blackheaded. That's not the way we wanted to see them. But anyway, it's still an extremely beautiful place and I'm glad I've done it just the same. Sleeping out in the, um, in the uh, swag last night was an experience, especially when it pissed down rain, but um, yeah, it's all good. Well, we're in between Windora, heading towards Longreach. We've only done 100 k's or something. We're going to Junda. Junda. From Junda to Longreach. But this landscape is beautiful and there are monitors everywhere. And we're trying to um, see if we can get some photos of them. This is really beautiful. This is the sort of stuff we were looking for. We seem to be enjoying this drive from Windora to Longridge much better. There's more desert. It doesn't seem to have been affected by the floods as much. Beautiful landscape. Beautiful. It's getting warm. We're hitting 30. What time is it? Oh, it's 1.30 in the other. So it's probably, probably won't get you know, 32 pops. That's it. I've got to be careful to drive over because of all these roots poking up. They're freaking everywhere. <coughs> well, here we are in Janda. Um, it really is not a lot actually. Basically, at the turn off to go to Long Ridge. Now you see it, now you don't. See it? They've got fuel, that's always a good start. There it is. <laughs> as far as the eye can see in every direction. There is nothing. I can think I see like 100 kilometers of a head of tree poking up. That is it. It probably was desert at one stage and then because of this rain we've had. We've got two bearded dragons.
wagons, or maybe even three, having a punch up on the side of the road. Sneaking, yeah. Mm, maybe not. Maybe I spun around at nothing. Hmm. It looks more like a dick poking up. All right, we're entering Long Reach now. Absolutely worn out, to say, is to say the least. So with a bit of luck, we'll get a caravan park, some fuel, and um, once again, I'm leaving it late. <laughs> See that, the empty mark? Anyway, get a caravan park so we can put, put up the swag and have a shower and give all the animals a drink of water and a hose down, make them feel good again. And uh, then tomorrow, head towards Emerald. Here we are in a town called Ilfracum or something or other. Uh, we've left Longreach. Uh, no disrespect to the people of Longreach, but I really didn't like Longreach. The first place we stopped to sleep was a caravan park, and um, it looked like the backyard of a. Uh, <laughs> Alright, we're coming up to a truck stop. I'm going to pull over and have Brecky there. We've only just left Longreach 50 k's ago. The reasons why I decided to leave there and then have breakfast. Longreach is not exactly the prettiest of places or the nicest of places. The first place we put into a caravan park, it was like the back of a construction site. Big giant divots in the mud where trucks have been and they wanted us to throw a swag down on that and all the gates were open and it literally looked like a... You know, it was a nice place. It's definitely not the sort of place you'd take your little baby to sit there and, and hang around. And Anyway, so we got a paid a ton and a half of money for a room that looked like a backpacker's, you know, it's obviously not a nice place. So I've chosen to um, drive to here to have breakfast. We were going to give a rundown in the last town we went through, but last night the bloke that um, he's looking after our house left the door open and our dog got out and got hit by a car, so we've been backwards and forwards with the vets working out with, you know, the panel bedding her back into shape. And we got a phone call halfway through the, that video, so um, we had to kill it. But anyway, I'm going to stop just up here at this truck stop, have some wheat bix, let the little man have some food, and then we're going to shotgun. We're only uh, now four hours away from Emerald. Uh, today, I think we'll just get get a hotel there a day earlier than what we we're going to, and um, get some R and R, some rest, and um, tomorrow set up our our mark here, whatnot, ready for the show we've got to do. We've also got to catch up with the local sun catcher of Emerald, but anyway, we'll pull up here and see how we go. We are now in territory that we are aware of. This is a town that we've come through before from Tambo. We took a dirt road, the old trip, to Alpha, and uh, we're only a couple of hours away from Emerald. I hear that there's big storms coming tonight and tomorrow for Emerald, so we're going to set up our marquee anything this afternoon, and all the stuff ready for the show is the Sabo. <coughs> and batten down the hatches ready and prepare for rain. Um, I kind of don't mind the fact it's going to rain, it doesn't get too hot and the animals aren't going to cook. Because you've got a bit of a, out here it gets freezing cold in the morning and smoking hot at lunchtime and I have trouble keeping the animals cool. But anyway, this is Alpha and I think the next stop after this is Emerald, isn't it? Yeah. Yeah, it's uh, an hour and 52 minutes away, remember has it? Well, we've just entered Emerald. We went through Sapphire, Ruby Vale, Anarchy, and they're all obviously towns associated with mining, mining of the gemstone. Um, we're only five minutes away from our destination. We are going to set our gear up, everything up tonight, because uh, there's a storm coming tomorrow. As, uh, all the central Australia is copping hardcore rain at the moment, and it's slowly moving to over here. So we're going to set up our marquees, proof blocks, ready for the storm. Also, put the swag or whatnot in our marquee tonight. Tomorrow, go and book in because we've booked at the hotel for Friday, Saturday, and Sunday. So, I need to have my beauty sleep and a good shower. Yeah, no, I need a few more hours of beauty sleep. Tonight, if we can catch up with the local snake catcher, we might go for a drive and check things out and see if we can photograph any reptiles. Tomorrow, do the same, maybe. If not, just drive around and check things out. Anyway. That's it for a couple of days. The next couple of videos will be leaving um, Emerald and on our way. Not too sure of the, uh, the, 
the uh, way in like the, the trip which roads we're going to take to go home. I do not want to go the Pacific motorway and I do not want to go the total inland roads. I've heard rumours of a of a road that runs parallel to the Pacific motorway. It's um, a rough road, not much traffic but good scenery. That's through Carnarvon Gorge and stuff like that. It's a, it's a good looking track so we'll probably take that I think. Here we are on our day off. We're with the um, local emerald snake catcher, and um, because we've got the day off, what, oh look at that, some tin. That's perfect. So we decided to come and have a look, see if we can find any of the local um, snakes to photograph. We haven't seen anything yet, except for a lot of beautiful bush, and uh, except for that bit of tin, and that usually screams reptile. So we'll go and check it out. Okay, I'm not one that knows anything about birds, but rumour has it this might be what's called an apostle bird. And the reason why he's called an apostle bird is because he flies in a flock of 12. So you learn something every day. I might be wrong because I know it is an apostle bird. Okay, it is. Now, I don't know why he's still here, even though we pulled out and he keeps looking at the ground. Little man. I think a lot of animals that don't see too many humans aren't too afraid of humans. They haven't learned that we are in fact not nice. What are you looking at on the ground? Is there something on the ground that we should know about? Hey buddy, come down here. Come say hello to me. Come on. I'm not a bad person really. My belly's not this big for meeting birds. I'm meeting hamburgers. I'm a cow eater. <laughs> 